So I've just got back from a walk, uh, 14 and a half miles done this morning. It's the first walk I've done in a while and this is the first video for a few weeks. The last video I did was on how to prevent blisters and another issue which is of significance to those of us who do ultra marathon distances is the problem and it is a big problem of chafing now with chafing it's somewhat similar to the blisters in that the causes of the chafing which are moisture and friction whereas blisters is heat moisture and friction uh, combined together to produce the blisters with chafing it's the moisture and the friction that make the skin sore or very sore when you get it and obviously if you're doing short distances not too much of a problem but when you're doing ultra marathon distances it's a big problem if it happens to you so you're far better off looking at ways to prevent it now over the years I've tried many different things to try and prevent chafing and some elements work and some don't work so in this video I'll explain what I do and it works for me hopefully it'll work for you if you try it but this is what I do so with me when I first started the main area that I got chafing funnily enough although it wasn't funny at the time was actually on my nipples and it is a common problem for people and it's extremely sore when you get it so I tried various different things to try and prevent it and one of the biggest ones that was um, suggested when I did my research was to use plasters and I tried it and it worked to an extent but the plasters invariably would come loose and no matter how much taping or extra taping I did they would still come loose so that fell by the wayside so apart from the nipple area the other areas which are problem areas and prone to chafing are under the arms the groin area the upper thigh area and one's other nether region at one's bottom which we can all laugh about really really uncomfortable so after all my research and all my experimentation and I tried Vaseline and baby powders things like that what I ended up with was coming across a cream now this cream originally was formulated for cows yeah cows when cows are milked obviously their udders produce the milk but with milking it's extreme and for the cows it becomes very uncomfortable it's pretty constant so they developed this cream for help and prevent chafing to the nipples on the cows and their udders anyway subsequently it's been produced and marketed and there's various different types of it but the name of it is Udderly Smooth and again just like my pseudo creme that I use for my blisters I think it's brilliant obviously if you try it yourself see how it works but for me I find it works a treat so what I do is I use this Udderly Smooth Chamois Cream particularly the one with Shea Butter and I lather it on all the susceptible areas I just lather it on and rub it in well and it seems to work for me it prevents the chafing now in addition to the cream I do a couple of other things just like with the 
footwear that I use and the double skin socks to prevent the blisters, I do something similar for preventing chafing. So with my shirts, yes, they are the technical t-shirts, but I experimented with using different sizes, getting ones much bigger for me or ones that were actually tighter. And for the trousers, or should I say the shorts, what I ended up doing was I use normal sports shorts, which for men have a, an inner liner, but additionally, I put a separate pair of what are like cycling shorts underneath. So that's similar to the twin skin socks idea that I use for preventing the blisters. Now the inner or under garment type shorts, the cycling type shorts, they're not real cycle shorts. The real cycle shorts come with a, a, an extra padding area and I have tried them, but it doesn't work. That actually made it worse. It made it quite uncomfortable. But these ones are like compression shorts. And I wear them under the normal sports shorts, which also have a, an inner liner. So those things together with the liberal application of the utterly smooth cream work for me. Now, there isn't much more to it. You can try it for yourself. The Utterly Smooth Cream isn't expensive. The 227 gram tub, I think is around about just under nine pounds. You get it on Amazon or eBay. And it goes an awful long way. So I think it's definitely worth the money. And yeah, try it for yourself, see how it goes. And hopefully, it'll work wonders for you and if you do suffer with chafing and you do these little tips maybe it'll be a thing of the past for you as well so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video